I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In this blessed time, it is our privilege to meditate from the word. For today's meditation, let us turn our Bibles to Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 to 10. Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 to 10. Let me read for all of us. I am astonished that you are quickly deserting the one who called you in the grace of Christ. and are turning to a different gospel not that there is a another gospel but there are some who are confusing you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ but even if we are an angel from heaven should proclaim to you a gospel contrary to what we proclaim to you let that one be accursed as we have said before so now i repeat if any one proclaims to you a gospel contrary to what you received let that one be accursed am i now seeking human approval or god's approval or am i trying to please people if i were still pleasing people i would not be a servant of christ let us pray lord almighty we thank you lord for your mercy grace upon our lives thank you lord for this wonderful day and the time that you have given us lord as we gathered here to meditate your word Lord let the words of my mouth and meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight in Jesus name we pray amen so today we are going to continue our bible study previous weeks we have meditated uh, the background as well as the first passage that is verses 1 to 5 where we have meditated that passage 1 to 5 is in greeting apostle paul is greeting the church of galatia and we learned that the background of greeting how the ancient people used to write the greetings as well as we learned that galatians 1 1 to 5 is a divine greeting where paul is encouraging the people of galatia to experience the grace and peace of god so today we are going to continue with verses 6 uh, to 10 so let us Uh, meditate verse by verse here the important message in this passage that we can see is that paul is talking about there is no other gospel right because the people of galatia were turned themselves to other gospels or other teachings so paul is uh, encouraging them to come back to the gospel what he proclaimed to them so now let us meditate verse by verse verse 6 i am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you in the grace of christ and are turning to a different gospel <clears throat> here paul is surprised and he is shocked saying that i am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you in the grace of christ and turning to a different gospel as we have learned in the background the galatian church was affected by the false teachers that is jewish people and jewish people were trying to influence the galatian church they were um, perverting the gospel of christ right not they were um, proclaiming a new gospel but they are making a lot of confusion among the church by um, you know perverting the gospel of christ what these people were trying to do these jewish people they were trying to impose or you know they were forcing the galatian church to follow lot of jewish practices especially um, circumcision and other various uh, practices so paul is saying that i'm astonished i'm surprised that you people very soon you left the gospel or you deserted the uh, gospel because the galatian church were taught nicely by paul right paul himself taught lot of lessons to them paul himself proclaimed the gospel to them right of course we believe that paul could have done a wonderful job pro- uh, proclaiming the uh, gospel deeply right he taught a lot of things about christ so they have learned to well from paul though it was a new church paul taught them nicely so that's the reason paul is saying i'm at, uh, i'm astonished um saying that uh, how quickly you heard from me you learned lot of things but you deserted yourself from the gospel of 
Christ right that's why Paul is shocked and surprised and seventh verse not that there is an another gospel but there are some who are confusing you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ here the people did not experience in the new gospel but you know the existing gospel was you know perverted by the a jewish people right that as we already have meditated but here paul is eighth was saying that but even if we or an angel from heaven should proclaim to you a gospel contrary to what we proclaim to you let that one be accursed ninth was as we have said before so now i repeat if anyone proclaims to you a gospel contrary to what you have received let that one be accursed right here we can understand the motive of paul very clearly right so he is trying to emphasize that what they heard from paul about christ is true but um, what they are hearing from the jewish people is wrong right so they should not follow the teachings of the jewish people that's what the motive of paul paul bringing back the people uh, to christ right so um, here we see the problem that you know the beginners or the new believers are going away from god or the gospel right so that is the universal problem right May, every church we have some believers like that uh, people those who are newly coming into the church or newly accepted christ they come into the church they are not deeply rooted in the word so what they do they are when they hear new things they are confused and uh, you know it leads them to go away from the lord right we have lot of evidences or lot of witnesses we can see in our churches or indian christianity or throughout the world so what we learn from it right of course we may be a christians of for many years but what we learn right we instead of saying gospel we can say teachings right instead of saying gospels we can say teachings here we see in christianity there are lot of false teachers right intruding into the church right differently you know interpreting the bible for whatever they wish a um, lot of ways they are intruding in the church and confusing people so we need to aware of it whether uh, we are following the bible or not whether the preachers are preaching the bible or those who are proclaiming the word of the lord are they proclaiming in the li- in line with the word of the lord or not it is very much important for us to uh, you know examine the things or testing the things right we christian we must um, you know lean on the word of the lord right we must cling on to the word of the lord right why people are going away from the lord whether it is a new believers or the people those who are christians for many years why they go away from the lord because they do not know the word of the lord properly right they do not understand the word of the lord properly uh, and second reason why they are going away from the lord is because they do not examine or they do not ask question to the preacher or the preachings or the message that they preach right we must we christian must ask questions against the preachings right against the message that we uh, hear against in the sense we should examine we should evaluate or we should criticize in the light of bible we must ask the questions whether their preaching are in line with the word of the lord or not in order to understand the bible better we have to ask a lot of question to the bible for example in order to understand a passage we must ask a certain question for example by whom it is written for whom it is written right in what context it is written right who were the recipients um when it was written what was the political condition of the people what was the religious condition of the people and so many other questions right in theological um term we say that is a historical background in order to understand the uh, passage we have to ask questions to the text and in order to evaluate the messages which is preached by the other preachers we must ask the questions like whether their preaching are in line with the word of the lord or not right many times when we ask these kind of questions to the preachers or to the messages that they preach mostly we find out that they are preaching 
their own desires whatever their heart says right the preachers are preaching um their ideologies right whatever they want to get from people uh, for their own benefit they preach uh, they use the bible or they misinterpret the bible so we christians we need to be aware of it in order to avoid wrong gospels false gospels or false teachings we must know the word of god in order to know the word of god better we must ask some questions to the bible and in order to secondly we need to evaluate the preachings of the or the message of the uh, preachers right in order to do that we uh, should ask certain questions like whether their preachings are in line with the word of the lord or not and secondly here we read verse 10 Uh, there paul is saying that am i now seeking human approval or god's approval or am i trying to please people if i were still pleasing people i would not be a servant of christ here paul is um, you know trying to say that his ministry is not for pleasing people rather it is to please god right his ministry is not to please people but to please god right so in christianity we see that many times whether it is a ministry or whatever we do we try to please people and right? we try to please uh, people we cannot please everybody right as we are surrounded with people of different interest at uh, different characters different attitudes they people different people expects different things from us so if you want to say, please everyone that is impossible right we cannot uh, please everyone that will be a impossible thing to do but we christians we must learn to please god right through our actions through our speech through our wordings whatever it may be right we must please god rather than pleasing the uh, people here apostle paul is clearly saying that his ministry is to please god himself he is not seeking human approval right many times and uh, right nowadays uh, as we are witnessing in christianity that many pastors are trying to please people uh, right and people are pleased with some certain messages right the people are so picky for example prosperity gospel right there are pastors and preachers who preaches prosperity gospel and there are believers who likes them so much right so these pastors are pleasing the people and uh, uh, people are very much pleased to watch those kind of prosperity uh, gospels right and is not only in ministry as christians it should be of, of whatever you know our lifestyle right our lifestyle is not to please people but to please uh, god whether we are studying whether we are working whatever it may be right we must learn to please god not human beings today we have meditated two things first we have meditated from 6 to 9 that where paul is emphasizing that there is no other gospel apart from christ gospel right what he preached to the uh, people um, so we need to be aware of the things that we listen as gospels or as preachings right many times we are deceived uh, by the people right we must evaluate people's uh, message uh, evaluate people's sermons and uh, right and positively we we have to criticize too and secondly we have learned that we must not please people rather we must please god himself let's pray Lord Almighty, we thank you, Lord, for your mercy, grace upon our lives. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day and the time that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for enabling us to meditate from your word, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, as we heard today, Lord, as we learned today, Lord, in these last days, Lord, we see a lot of people are coming and deceiving us. people oh lord jesus with their false teachings and with their false gospels oh lord jesus lord but you enable us to have the wisdom of evaluating the people's preachings and the sermons oh lord jesus help us to evaluate whether their preaching are in line with the word of the lord or not oh lord jesus and also lord as we learn today help us to live a life Uh, that pleasing to you oh lord jesus lord help us not to please the human beings but you alone our lord jesus lord bless every one of us who have listened to this sermon oh lord we submit 
ourselves in your mighty hand. You take complete control over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.